from Zero FXP. A while back, I made a video of the ATS125 and said it was one of the best looking receivers I had ever used. It just needs to have HF like the 120. And hey presto, they have now made one. Called it the ESP138. It still has the TEF 6686 chip, which is a more advanced receiving chip for receiving radio waves. But they've added this kind of chip into it, SI4732, added about £30 to the price, added a black case on this one, but you can get pink and silver, but in black you can see what's written on the actual keys, because if you look here, the older one, which is fantastic by the way, it's a really nice receiver, it was only about £60, um, you can't read the keyboard, but anyway, so in the box you've got your USB cable and a quite a good printed, printed instruction manual, which keep that, you're going to need that, let's take a closer look. Now it is beautiful, there's a 3.5 jack antenna in the bottom, that's probably the only thing that's a bit annoying, I'll just quickly show you, it looks like that one there, okay, um, because you know, you, you want it at the top, <laughs> but otherwise it's got Bluetooth, you can pair it to a speaker and it will pair, no problem to a, a Bluetooth speaker, it doesn't matter what you're listening to just by pressing and holding and you've got the options there for headphones as well. Volume up and down, so if I just quickly turn up the volume, press and hold. Not sure why they didn't decide to do the volume up and down using an actual turn knob, because this knob, which is labelled tune, and then you've got squelch. There, USB charge and programming and telescopic antenna built in, We're about one metre long. Nice, good quality device made of metal, metal buttons. You know, never, you're not going to worry about the quality and the size of the screen. I mean, look at it. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful. To turn on, we just turn it off, press and hold. The red button on both of these and then turn it on. Now, if you have a problem getting it into English language, because mine, the menu came in in Chinese. And you can see that sounds beautiful, but let's just turn it down a minute. When you press and hold the mode button, press and hold it, and then the first one is settings, press and hold it again. Uh, no, go into enter, sorry. Oh, actually, you don't press enter, you press this button here, okay? Enter. You ha there is an enter button. And then you can go into display and start changing language. Let's turn it down. So don't go in main settings, go to display, enter, and the first one, as soon as you press it, it goes Chinese. Press it again, it's English, okay? Pressing this top knob here. That's definitely worth knowing because mine was in Chinese and it's the same for both. Um, so mode just takes you back. So the basic use of it when, it when you first get it is to, whether you want to sort of have it in a way where you can just type the frequency and just change it yourself just by turning the knob like we are now and that is to look at this where it says main here so main basically means i call it vfo that's the top one there and to change that from main press it again auto and then memories that you've saved okay so there's main and then if we go like that we can change frequencies type them in and you can also i'll show you another trick as well but press the mode and look, you're in auto and, and it will search now. Okay, and I've got the volume low. Let's turn it up so you can hear it. Culture and, their, and, their beliefs about and it does have RDS. Right to, to be a Christian just the same as a man um, was the fact that RDS Mary is beautiful Magdalene. on it. Yes. Mary Magdalene, she was and then, so sig of course, signal meter, if women are not supposed to speak, bandwidth. Why did Jesus you've got a bandwidth button there, the IMS, an equalizer. Named Mary Magdalene. So briefly press, let's just turn so this down. I was raised as Catholic. <laughs> Mary Magdalene was... Turn it down. And then if we just press the bandwidth button, just look at the top as it changes. And then you've got the DX button here. That's for saving memories by the looks of it. We'll go back to main. Let's try the Bluetooth pairing. So if you press and hold... The bottom one, and then we'll. I'm going to turn on this speaker. It'll just flash like blue and red, and then press and hold like so. If it pairs, let's see that's paired. Let's try again. Press and hold. Now on the silver one, the button actually lit up green. 
That's it, but you got a little flashing there. Not sure if it's going to work. But that's the system, press and hold. With the other one, when you press and hold this one, it will actually pair to your phone. And then if you're playing YouTube, or if your phone rings, it, it will you'll hear it on this device. So I'll do a dedicated video testing it, because maybe this device... Not sure if it will work with it. Three seconds. The light goes out now. Press and hold. You see it flashing. And then... That sound light is turned on. And it should automate. I'll just leave it there, because it might automatically pay. You can see it's flashing. And then we'll do, the, like I said, separate video. Ah, it worked. Let's leave it connected. But remember, if I do the other one, should we try it? Let me um, pair it to my phone in the no normal Android phone way. So you swipe down Bluetooth, press and hold Bluetooth, so you're seeing everything that's searching. Let's turn this one off. So it goes off. There you are. And then we're going to press and hold the top one. It talks to you in Chinese. It's flashing green. Hopefully it will show up here ATS-128 uh, or ESP-138, which it did do. Let me pair. So now, and then I'm just going to go pair. Connected. Said connected. Let's turn the volume up. And then what we're going to do is play it, one of my videos. And it, you know, it could be my phone ringing, and you see the Bluetooth volume go up there. If your menu is in Chinese, it's working so fine. If I press and hold mode, twenty thousand videos we have now. In Chinese, okay. So anyway, that's good. Hold that all works good. The difference between the black one is that it's. We haven't even done the HF stuff yet. <laughs> anyway, if you press and hold mode, you can see that there is a raft of tinkering here. A raft. Look at it. And each menu, yeah has sub menus look you've got wi-fi what do we do with wi-fi on i'm just gonna you know what do we do with it you know i literally don't know um so anyway mode we'll look into that screen off wi-fi disconnect so it looks like we'll probably have to set up put the settings in there usb and go mode and then let's just do another one audio Enter button here, no, but we can press and then mode to go back and so on and so on and so on. Look at the AM settings and this one does air band as well. That's another thing they added. Um, so we just go enter, I'll press, show short wave, wavelength, medium wave, default, air band, convergence. So it's got a down converter. I did see that in Paul's video. But what they had done to get the HF working is sorry not the air band working it's just above here they've added it to the circuit board a down converter so if you're um you know if it's receiving in one frequency it will change it add minus you know very clever uh so the air band works and i've actually got a mini down converter here that adds 110 megahertz to hf but they've done it like Paul said, it was a down converter. That's Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. And thanks for his video. So, um, okay. Press and hold the band. You get the ability here to select different things. And we will do the air. Uh, you can type frequencies. Let's do shortwave and air. See what it lets me do. One, one. Is it going mean, to... I haven't really done this yet. And I, I'm, I'm still trying to work out how to put zeros in. Do you see that? One, three, three. I'm just going to go enter. No, it's not letting me do it in this way. We might have to switch to the other mode. Cause remember, the old receiver, it would let you do this. Just like I am now. Yeah, but it, look, it said short wave. So let's go zero. No, it won't let me do zero. But you didn't hear anything. Uh, so, all right, well, it's saying it's there, but that's not how we do it. We go into the proper shortwave mode. Let's just go back. Now, press and hold bandwidth as well. You get this menu. You've got volume, screen brightness there. And um, on off. What's that? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, how do we do up? Uh, now we don't know how to back out of that. Start scan, start ATS. Ooh. Scheme. Okay, I, I literally don't know what that does, but I'm still showing it you. Going back with the mode button. DX, press and hold, and it goes into scan mode. You see it's flashing scan signal meter until it finds something. This middle button squelch, by the way. See the way it says RDS Air down there as well. Bluetooth speaker. It's found something there, so I don't want to play any music. Right. I think that's enough for that now. Let's just see. If it, let's go into this sort of HF mode, and it will start to look like this. You'll probably recognise this interface because many of us have got the uh, have got the ATS twenty five FT eight decoder models, haven't we? I'll show you one. This kind of thing, yeah. And they're really good and they work well. And really, this is a sit desktop version of this. Um, and so, yeah, great fun. Let's go in into this mode. So, as you can see, the 3.5 jack that goes underneath, it's a bit hard to film because you've got this the connection. You can use the telescopic antenna, of course, which is at the top here, and you can connect to that. Um, but there's no jack at the top, which I think is a shame. And I've literally never used this. So I'm going to briefly press and it goes into HF mode. Now, they've chose to go... Oh, look, it actually says dark mode there. I would prefer if it wasn't a white screen. But anyway, let's just... Uh, let's see if we can... I did press, press volume. Let's press ham and go to 40. And mode LSB <clears throat> I mean I can see it fine I'm just hoping you can <laughs> trying to get the right that's the thing about this white screen, it's really hard to film. It looks fine in here, and out, I'm, I'm guessing outside that's going to work alright as well. Sounds good, very good. Yeah, definitely no problem at all with that quality. Now let's, tr let's try the Bluetooth speaker, see if that works. Pressing and holding. It's flashing. It did take a minute to pair, do you remember last time? We'll leave that on the side. I'm not hearing it pair yet. It's still flashing red though. Interesting. Bandwidth settings, frequency, where you can type the frequency. Mode, attenuation, HD, ham, fine tune is BFO. Let's go next, look at some of the other menus. Up and down, scan, the light. And, uh, and not before, which is exactly what I do, actually, when I look at the 5,000. I think this is the adjustment. You all know it's a, it's a fair beast of a record um, There you go. I, I just play with the volume, uh, power, uh, and the uh, tuning. And See, it says bright there. Work generally for me. There so, it is. Uh, so, is yeah, that knob? All, right, uh, all good. And, uh, <laughs> Retro style. Ooh. That's taken us back to broadcast. Oh, no music. Anyway, okay. Uh, city band. Okay. Is the mode still the back button? 
FM VHF broadcast I would say back band again there short wave one medium wave long wave back back to HF retro FRDS for broadcast and uh, let's uh, see if we can type in a uh, an airband frequency let's go back let's have a look at the set mode actually set so it says here FM start 64 megahertz seek AM RDS digit backlight memory memo in preset and retro language display light on off Saver time, vertical screen, maximum scale, auto scan accuracy, battery show, beeper on, bright display power, Bluetooth on, low default. Okay, let's exit. So that's that for now. I feel like more work on that myself. Um, let's go back to FM. That looks like broadcast, doesn't it? Go back and hit the band button. And where's the air? Air and six meters, it says. So we hit frequency and go one, three, three, dot, eight, five, zero. And then, okay, that's air band. I'll turn it up. Plug my airband antenna in. It's basically a VHF UHF antenna. Excellent, working really good. Once I got my antenna on there, that was really clear actually. What I'm not seeing is any of these sort of FT8 decode stuff at the moment. We've got ham. Let's look at the bands. Well, that, that's, that's air band. FM, long wave, medium wave. I mean, it's, it's a vast receiver, isn't it? And then you've got the little CB button there. And then you can scroll through CB. It says AM at the top at the moment. Do mode. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing FM basically. Uh, so let's just tap AM. It goes back. Oops. Oh, kilohertz as well. Leave it. That's your tuning steps. ATT, AGC, volume. When you hit that, which one are we turning? Yeah, there you are. Top right knob. Go back, step bandwidth frequency. I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. There's my squelch. I was looking for that. Get that down a bit lower. Set up memo retro FM light scan. Let's do the light one again. I don't really see a, a change there. <laughs> it is in white. They need to just change, add, give us black with white. Come on. Um, there's going to be a, a firmware, and I have to teach myself how to do the firmware on one of these. I've never done one before. Info is all what it says. Okay. And let's go mode. How do we go back out of that? Just tap. There you go. Up, down. Scanning. Up and down. So I'll do some more video on this. And yeah, I this is really just an unboxing. I just took it out of the box. Thought I'd show you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Obviously, it's, it's a real tinkering device, isn't it? It's good quality. Literally no complaints with it at all. I just... What they should have done is put a 3.5 at the top. They've got USB there. It wouldn't have hurt to put one there. But you can buy something that clips onto the actual antenna. And uh, But I think you can get out and about. You can listen. If you take this in the car with you, I think there's going to be a lot you can listen to. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.